So back to the start line again, and this time we've got lined up the riders for Group A, Moto B. And there's four of them gone to the extreme right-hand side of the gate, leaving a gap in the middle. Big Trev there has got nobody alongside him to uh, have a battle with down that start straight. It's Andy Ruffell who's uh, next but one to him. Andy, who scored a win in the first mode of the series, would like to get up there to score maximum points, but it's Andy Saul, the Birmingham Wheels rider, on the extreme right but one in the yellow jersey. It's got to make good, so he's made a bad start. His pedal slipped, off went his foot, and he never got with it at all. Well, that's really upset Andy Saul. He's had a seventh place so far, and now he's at the back of the squad, leaving Andy Ruffle up in front. That was where he was in the first moto. He cruised home the first time. Can it all at this time? Big Trevor Adams has gone into second. That's the way they go down into that very sharp right-hander. My goodness, he does look smooth, this man, Ruffle. And uh, Trevor Robinson in second place. Right at the back, that's Mark White. And he clears the jump. The big bunch behind, fighting for points to move through into the super final. And Saul's made his way up now. He looks about fourth or fifth there. He's coming through, and he looks over his shoulder and really shows his back wheel to the rest of the field, who are nowhere in sight. But where has Saul got to? Because it's important to fight his way through. And he takes first place. And uh, Scott Williams in second, Trevor Robinson in third. Well, we'll have to wait for the official result because Saul was out of our picture now. What did happen to that man? The crowd are also interested in the result, though, and they can see that Andy Saul was down in sixth place. My goodness, that could put him out of the running. Andy Ruffle now has got two on the trot. Anthony, commiserations, two crashes and two motos. What's going wrong? Just don't know. Just having not to be my day. First moto, just got a little bit close, too, too close with the first and second place rider. I was in the lead. And, um, Andy Ruffle came up underneath me and he took a move that if I was in his spot I would have did the same thing but we got a little bit too close. So Do you blame him at all for that? Well, I don't think, it's, it's, I mean it's a contact sport, it's professionalism involved into it. You're going to get some elbows, you're going to get clipped.